Polk County Public Libraries and today I'm going to show you how to make this week's adult take and make kit and this week we are making uh, lemon stamped tea towels so you can pick up a free take and make kit with all of the supplies for this activity minus your lemon at the Columbus or Saluda library all right inside your kit you have several things you have your tea towel you have some yellow paint and you have a paintbrush. Now the paintbrush is the essential part to this activity because we're not just stamping the lemon, right? We wanna get these nice details that uh, will give you the lemon shape on your tea towel. And I've already had several people ask, these are washable and um, they are using acrylic paint. So um, you can use them more as a decorative piece in your kitchen, like on the front of your stove or on your refrigerator, or you can use them um, as actual tea towels. So we're going to get started. Um, I recommend using uh, a variety of sizes of lemons, but if you only purchase one lemon, uh, go ahead and get the small ones. So in the example tea towel, you can see where I've alternated with big lemons and little lemons, but today I'm just going to use little lemons. And also you can do several different designs with your lemons. My first tea towel example here, I've only gone um, about halfway on my tea towel and that's just to keep the bottom half decorative. Uh, you can do the whole thing if you want or you can just do a small border at the very bottom. It's up to you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay out my tea towel and because I am using acrylic paint, I'm going to be super careful with the area that I'm doing this activity. I'm going to lay this out. It is a square. And I already have down like a placemat so I don't get the paint on my table. And I'm only going to go about halfway up on this one as well just to keep them um, super cute and uniform. Okay, so I'm going to lay it out and get off any fuzz that you might see. There's a piece of fuzz underneath here. All right, and I'm going to cut my lemon. So you're going to cut it right in half, that way you've got two pieces to work with. After you put paint on one side of the lemon several times, you'll need to switch over to that second piece. And like I said, your paintbrush is the key to this project. You can try it out on a piece of paper if you want to, to see what it looks like if you dip all of your lemon in the paint and stamp it out. It doesn't look as pretty as this will. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go around the outside Hoping you can see this in the video. I'm going around the outside of the lemon. Okay, so that's the ring. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and put paint um, going down each of the slices. And I'm not putting paint on the whole slice. I'm making it look kind of like a wagon wheel with a lot of spokes. Okay, and your paint will flood over into the other sections so that when you stamp it, it'll add in some color. Okay, I'm going to do my first stamp. Take it up, go ahead and do the process the same way over again. You'll do this multiple times to get your design. I'm going to fast forward this video so you can see what this will look like when it's completely done, but I wish you luck on your pattern 